Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today I'm going to be going over why you don't receive fire notifications from HomeKit. So right now, the only system that does HomeKit is the Lyric Alarm System. It's uh, Honeywell's latest and newest system. It basically, in order to use HomeKit on the system, you do need to have a monitoring company enable it. So you can't just buy the Lyric system and and expect it to come with HomeKit right off the bat. You actually need to have a monitoring company activate and enable it for you, all right? So that's first thing. Second thing, HomeKit works off of Wi-Fi only. So you need to make sure that your panel is connected to Wi-Fi. You need to make sure that if you guys are planning to use HomeKit remotely, that you guys have a hub, a HomeKit hub at the house. So that's an Apple TV, that's an iPad on the latest revision that you have set to be a hub at the house. And again, if you're using it remotely, it will only work if Wi-Fi is connected. Now, a lot of you guys may have smoke detectors, fire alarms, seal detectors, uh, flood detectors, all of these kinds of sensors. Whenever you get an alarm on the Lyric system and you're expecting a fire notification or CO notification through HomeKit, that actually is not the case. The reason why is HomeKit only is specific with alarm notifications if it's uh, if it's set to an entry exit, if it's set to perimeter, interior follower, or interior follower with delay. So this is basically referring to all door and motions. So whenever you guys have a front door, mo <coughs> a front door alarm, back door alarm, side door, um, living room motion, whenever you guys have an alarm like this on the Lyric system, it actually comes in specifically and it lets you know what zone is going off but for sensors like co smoke heat uh, flood that don't use the response types of perimeter entry delay interior with delay interior follower you do not get specific response um specific notifications through HomeKit, and i'm going to show you guys right now what it actually looks like you can get notifications but it will only show you that the lyric system has been has been triggered or there's an alarm on the system but it doesn't let you know exactly what it is so if you guys are using HomeKit only um <clears throat> you guys may want to rethink that as Total Connect actually is specific and lets you know when an alarm has been cleared, when it's been disarmed, who disarmed it, yada, yada, yada. HomeKit only lets you know that there's been an alarm and it doesn't specify what kind of alarm it is if it's one of these other response types. So for example, I'm going to show you guys real quick. Um, so right now I have the my iPad right now. It's connected through HomeKit to my Lyric system and I also have my Total Connect app on this as well. I also have text messages set up for Total Connect. So I'm gonna show you guys the two differences between the HomeKit notifications for fire alarms and the Total Connect notifications for fire alarms. All right, so let me just get my iPad here set up. <clears throat> One moment. All right, so I have my iPad at the home screen here. Um, if you guys watch here, I'm actually just gonna, I'm gonna set off a panic just cause it's gonna be the fastest way to do it. I'm gonna set off a fire panic, right? You'll see on my iPad, I got a HomeKit notification and now I got a Total Connect. The HomeKit one just let me know that there was an alarm going off. The Total Connect one lets me know that an, a fire sensor alarm has been reported. Let me let me show you guys real quick again here. You see how the HomeKit one says default room, Lyric was triggered. It doesn't actually let you know what it is that's going off. Total Connect does let you know that there's a fire alarm, the time has been reported at, and if I disarm the system, the HomeKit app will let me know that the system has been disarmed. So will the Total Connect. Total Connect. <clears throat> See, fire sensor, fire sensor alarm has been cleared. And then the HomeKit one just says default room lyric was disarmed. So you can see right off the bat the <clears throat> how Total Connect is specific with the fire sensor alarms. And the HomeKit app is kind of just generic. So if you guys are using HomeKit only, like I said, and you guys get a fire alarm, 
you guys are just gonna see the default room was um, was you know the alarm went off or um, etc but you guys won't ever know what exactly is that's going off that's why we always recommend getting total connect which again we do mo we do offer that in most of our service plans so it's just something to keep in mind um, the other total connect uh, notifications that I got actually came in through a text message I'm gonna show you guys that right now as well so you see on the text messages here um, obviously I was playing with it before but just now it says that on April 23rd 923 which was just a couple seconds ago uh, the fire fire sensor alarm went off the camera built-in camera events I actually have it enabled to where whenever I disable or whenever I disarm the Lyric system, this front facing camera up at the very top in the center of the Lyric, it actually takes a picture every time you disarm and it sends it to Total Connect. So if I wanted to, I can go into my Total Connect app and look at the image that was sent from the panel and I could see who disarmed my system. Um, and then again, uh, if you look at the text messages, you'll see it went uh, from 923 at 29, 9.23 a.m. and 29 seconds, the fire sensor alarm went off, and then you'll see that the fire sensor alarm was cleared at 9, 9.24 and 22 seconds, so basically almost a whole minute later. Um, so it is time-specific as well, lets you know uh, what sensors went off, what time they went off, the date, and uh, that's what the text messages look like. The other... The other thing uh, about HomeKit and Total Connect, um, this isn't specifically for fire alarms because whenever there's a fire alarm, you can't actually clear the fire alarm from the app. But I'm referring to more Berg signals. Whenever you guys get like, if you guys set off a false alarm, or somebody sets off a false alarm and you want to disarm the system, you cannot. In order to clear a false alarm or in order to clear any type of alarm from the Lyric system, you have to disarm from the panel twice or you can use Total Connect to disarm twice. Now, HomeKit does not let you clear false alarms because if you go into HomeKit, let me open it up. If, if I hold down the default room Lyric, it only gives me an option to do off. So I can't disarm twice if it's already off. I'd have to arm and then disarm. So it, you actually have to disarm the system twice to clear any alarms. Now, fire alarms, you actually have to disarm it from the panel just because it's a security risk. They want, if a fire alarm goes off on the system, you actually have to disarm twice from the system to clear it. You can't disarm from HomeKit or from Total Connect. but I'm talking about for Berg alarms. Um, another thing that I just want to mention real quick, if you guys aren't receiving any notifications at all through HomeKit, make sure you guys look at your settings. So as well, when you're in your HomeKit app, hit the edit button in the top right, select the um, mine is called default room lyrics. So you want to make sure you select your lyric system, go down to status and notifications. If you're in status and notifications, make sure you set allow notifications. That way, if a fire alarm, door alarm, motion alarm goes off, you actually receive it just like a you know, the, the generic uh, message I got on the iPad. So if you guys aren't receiving any of that at all, make sure you guys check that setting as well. So this was just a quick video showing you guys uh, basically the differences between uh, fire alarm notifications through HomeKit and fire alarm notifications through Total Connect 2.0. You, as you saw, there was quite a difference. HomeKit is very generic. It doesn't specify fire alarms. Total Connect specifies any type of level, any type of alarm. All right, and uh, if you guys want to find out more, feel free to email us at, at support@alarmgrid.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and enable the notifications so whenever we upload new content, you guys do get notified. I'm George from Alarm Grid, and I'll see you guys next time.